K-value stores come with high performance against relational databases for simple tasks and simple queries. In this video, we are going to build a simple face recognition application with Redis K-value store. We will need redis-server command to get Redis server up and also redis dash cli uh, it's uh, acronym of uh, command line interface to communicate with redis server we can test it with ping message if it returns pong uh, then everything is okay here we can set some k value pairs in command line interface for example set a uh, here I'm going to set the uh, name k and its value should be my name, Sefik. It returns OK and then I can get the name k value with get name command and it returns Sefik. Instead of using Redis command line interface, I'm going to use Python client uh, of Redis. This requires import Redis. But if you haven't installed it yet, you need to call pip install redis command. Then I'm going to uh, get redis server up just like that. Redis is equal to redis dash strict redis. And here as arguments, I'm going to pass host. It's going to be localhost port is equal to i can check the default port value at 63 79 i can check uh, the port number of my redis server at same i can pass 63 79 so i'm going to use deep face framework for facial recognition tasks this requires to import deep face from deep face and import deep face also from deep face dot commons and import functions if you haven't installed a deep face framework yet then you can call pip install deep face command now i'm going to build facial recognition model model is going to be deep face dot build model and uh, as a argument, I'm going to pass the facial recognition model. That's going to be Google's FaceNet model. FaceNet model expects uh, 160 times 160 shape inputs. That's why I'm going to uh, set input shape variable to uh, this expected size. Now I'm going to read the source image. Let's set its path. It's source.jpg in the uh, same directory of my notebook. Then I'm going to read it just like that. Functions dot preprocess face and as as input I'm going to pass the exact path. Also. I'm going to pass target size input. It's going to be my input shape. Let's see the content of source. But before that, I'm going to uh, wonder at shape. As expected, it's 160 times 160 and this three dimensions comes from RGB red green blue I can import uh, matplotlib.pyplot as plt to show this source image here I'm going to uh, call plt.imshow and pass source uh, zero index value because uh, imshow uh, function expects three dimensional arrays as seen uh, this is 
blue uh, image that's because of uh, open cv reads an image in the inverse direction of rgb i can handle this just like that that's my source image this is actually my source image but uh, as uh, you see here uh, pre-process phase function applies detection and alignment pre-processing stages uh, as well and this is the detected and aligned uh, version of the source image I'm going to find the vector embedding of this source image with a uh, face net model that's why i'm going to call model dot predict function and pass source image as input and that's going to be my embedding here i can check the uh, content of embedding actually it returns uh, one times 128 dimensional array that's why i can get at zero index value here in this way i will get 128 dimensional vector here let's see the content of it this is the content of my uh, embedding array i can actually convert it to uh, python list uh, because it returns numpy array here now that's python list and consists of 128 dimensional values i'm going to store uh, this embedding in redis server that's why uh, here i'm going to call uh, redis.rpush command but uh, the name of the library and this server is same that's why uh, i'm going to create uh, the redis client sr here i'm going to call redis.rpush and sk uh, i'm going to set embedding of angelina and as value i'm going to pass the embedding it returns 128 value let's check the stored embedding in redis cli here i'm going to call r range and my k is embedding of angelina and here i'm going to pass 0 and minus 1 as arguments and as seen it returns 128 dimensional vector in uh, redis uh, command uh, line interface it means that everything is okay my source image uh, is stored in redis uh, store uh, successfully now it's time to check the target image what does it mean when a person comes to the system i'm going to uh, check at uh, the same person of this source image or they are different persons that's why i'm going to read a, a target image similar to uh, source image and uh, target image is going to be deep face slash tests slash data set and image one dot jpeg i'm going to use uh, i'm going to read this target image uh, similarly here i'm going to use pre-process face function of the deep face library but i'm going to pass target path as input and this is going to be my target image let's show the target image here let's pass target as input here this is my target image and uh, now i'm going to check this two person are same or different now i'm going to find the vector embedding of this target image just like that 
I'm going to call model.predict and pass uh, target as input and this is going to be the target embedding. Let's check the target embedding here. That's actually uh, I expect that at it's 128 dimensional uh, vector. Yes, that's correct. Now let's find the uh, source embedding here. I'm going to get uh, its embedding value from Redis server. Here I'm going to call Redis dot alt range and here I'm going to pass embedding of Angelina because here I don't know if uh, this picture is Angelina or not but I know that uh, this is Angelina and it's already stored in Redis server here I'm also going to pass 0 and uh, minus 1 uh, arguments as inputs actually these are the start and end arguments and this is the source embedding Let's check the source embedding as well. It's actually 128 dimensional vector as well, but it's a little bit different because as seen, it starts with a B character. This means that this binary I can actually convert those binary values to float uh, just like that. I first need to import numpy. Import numpy as mp. Then source embedding is equal to numpy.array and pass source embedding as input. And here I'm going to pass as type and pass its type as float now let's check the content of source embedding it's numpy array and it's actually shape is 128 now i'm going to find the distance between target embedding and source embedding and I can find the distance between two vectors uh, if I'm going to import uh, distance module of deep face. Here I'm going to call distance dot find Euclidean distance function and uh, I'm going to pass source representation and uh, test representation here I'm going to source embedding and target embedding as inputs it returns uh, 9.29 I actually need to check uh, this value is less than or equal to 10 because that's the threshold value for Google FaceNet model and Euclidean distance metric pairs. This returns true. This means that uh, this uh, target image and this source image are same person. In other words, this target image is Angelina Julie because I uh, stored the embedding of Angelina Julie in Redis. Uh, database let's check uh, let's test it for different case here I'm going to pass image 3.jpg and uh, run the following lines the question is that this is Angelina Julie because uh, I stored the embedding of Angelina Julie in Redis server let's find its embedding that's 128 dimensional array now uh, let's get the embedding of Angelina Julie from Redis server and uh, transform it to float and check its shape and finally find the distance between this target image and source image. This returns false because uh, 
this function will return a distance value greater than a uh, 10 threshold value that's why these are different persons so we have mentioned how to build a simple facial recognition application uh, with redis server uh, k value stores come with high performance against relational databases uh, as shown in this video thank you all for watching and see you next time